pleasure to welcome you once again to Dialogue on Public Issues. I'm John Chowney with Campbellsville University. Today I'm interviewing our new mayor-elect, at least at this point, uh, before her uh, formal entrance into office. She's still the mayor-elect as we do this interview, the Honorable Brenda Allen. Brenda, welcome back. Thank you. Glad to be here. Congratulations Thank on you. your victory in Thank November. You. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. I think folks know you, but but it's always in case there's someone watching or listening. I think probably everybody knows me. They stop me on the street and yell at me. But <laughs> anyway, I'm Brenda Allen. I'm married to Ronnie Allen. And we have three sons, uh, Brian, uh, John, and Brent. Uh, two of them live in Georgia. Mm. And we have six grand, uh, five grandchildren, and they live from New, uh, from New York t to Orlando. Mm. And so we're really uh, kind of just here and happy that we can stay here and they get to come back and see us all the time. Mm -hmm. so. Now you were born and raised in yes, Campbellsville? Yes, I, I was. Spent most of your life here? Yes, abs all, absolutely, all my mm -hmm. life. Yeah, I was born near the Pleasant Hill community. Okay. Um, and so I grew up in that area. And so um, I just feel I'm really lucky to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, great now, place. Why did you choose to run for mayor? Uh, you previously served uh, two terms, been out of office for a few years. Uh, why did you decide to run for a third term in, in 2018? A lot of people ask me that, but really, I really enjoyed being the mayor. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I don't like sitting at home. I love to be with people. I like to solve problems. Mm -hmm. uh, it just got a little boring, and I, I thought, hey, I'll give it another shot if I get to run and win. It'll be awesome. If I don't, I'll still be okay. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, what are the duties of mayor? I mean, I think most folks know, but uh, mayor does a little bit of everything. That's true. Uh, you're kind of in control of the city, mm -hmm. and you have to furnish people with uh, protection, and that would be the police and the fire and the medics and uh, keep the streets clean and mm -hmm. you, just a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if, it, uh, if it's in the city limits, you're in control of it in most cases. I would imagine you get called or, or people will come to the office uh, and you could speak to this from experience having served, as I said, the two prior terms, but just about anything is possible is at least for your, you, you get to listen to. Uh, I remember the late Sam Phillips as county judge, he told me one time it was some days he felt like he was a preacher <laughs> or a teacher, a uh, counselor and so on. That's still the same thing, mm -hmm. but believe it or not, the eight years I have not been mayor, I still receive those calls. Mm -hmm. I mean, people call, could you tell me what to do about this, or who should I call? And, or, Britt, I knew you, I knew that you know the answer, and I, <laughs> that was a compliment, but mm -hmm. still it was, a, you know, I still, I enjoyed talking mm -hmm. to the people. If I can help you, I want to. Do you feel more comfortable going in this time than maybe the first time? Of course, then you were city clerk going in as mayor, but do you feel a little more confident? Um. Well, kind of in a way, but things have changed a lot in, mm -hmm. the, like, in the last eight years. Uh, when I went in as city clerk, that was the best education you could have sure. to be a mayor. Mm -hmm. um, because the city clerk really is kind of the backbone doing all the things that need mm -hmm. to be done, and you know about everything. So it was easier to do that because now it's been a while. Mm -hmm. Things have changed. Uh, there's uh, different people that I don't, do not know, but I, I'm anxious to learn what's going on mm -hmm. and meet the people. About how many city employees are there oh, at this point in time? I really, I'd say probably uh, with the water company and the city, probably a couple hundred. Okay. I really don't know. So a pretty good sized organization. Oh, yes, uh -huh, yes. And, and certainly a multi-million right. dollar budget. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. what, what will be your top priorities when you uh, are sworn in? Well, the first thing I'd like to do is meet the people mm -hmm. because so many of the people I have not met before and I want them to know that I'm behind them 100% mm -hmm. and if they have questions, I want them to feel free to ask or if what I need to make, whatever I need to do to make their job better, I mm -hmm. want to do that. Uh, and then the, all the different departments and things that have happened, I, I don't even know a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I know that um, I'll, I'm concerned about the water and sewer issues because uh, all the pipes and all the things that we mm -hmm. have been enjoying forever are getting old. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of new things that need to happen. Uh, so it'll be interesting, it'll be exciting, a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, 
you mentioned water and sewer. I would suppose, aside from meeting the personnel and getting acquainted with all department heads and as many employees as you can, uh, the water and sewer system and its needs are at the top of the agenda, it would appear. It, and that's true because mm -hmm. I'm really not sure. I know that the uh, Department of uh, uh, Water and Sewer in Frankfurt have been here. We've been uh, probably have some problems I don't even know about. Mm -hmm. and, and, and they're all old. Things are old and they probably, mm -hmm. I know that they need uh, new parts and they need to be upgraded and it is going to be a, mm -hmm. a challenge. Either way. The stormwater uh, inflow is a major issue isn't it? Uh, mm -hmm. in, in most all of the city, not right. just in Miller Park. That's the part that gets the primary attention, but uh, I would, from what I hear, it's citywide, basically. And it is, and we have really, really had a lot of rain mm -hmm. in the last couple mm -hmm. of years. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be like that all the time, but it's really, really changed. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have to work on what we can do to relieve that problem. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even have the answers for that. One, one of the uh, topics uh, during the campaign was the was Miller Park, the Miller Park conditions, uh, the swimming pool, uh, the the proposed new sports park. I, I'm throwing a lot at you there. Uh, what what are your general plans in that in that whole area, basically of recreational? facilities? Well, I definitely want to uh, work on Miller Park because uh, it has been a huge problem for people. Mm -hmm. They they miss the pool. Uh, there's uh, And it is a nice park. It's mm -hmm. in some situations that we may have outgrown it to some extent, but we need to keep it up. We need to keep, it's a great place. As far as the other park, I really don't know too much about what's mm -hmm. happened, what the plans are. But I will look at it and kind of go from there. I, mm -hmm. I don't really have an answer for you there. But but you do intend to, as you I think discussed during the campaign, to work on Miller Park. Yes, absolutely. And make it more viable right. as I, an option and, and a community asset. I've already talked to two or three people who have volunteered to mm -hmm. help with the swimming pool. Um, and uh, some of them want to do it for nothing, mm. I mean, which I think is great. Certainly. Uh, the ball fields, whatever they might need. And, and we need to w work on the... Uh, the water problem there too mm -hmm. uh, when it rains. So there's right. a whole lot of things that need to be done and I want to look at them and see what we can do. Are there any particular changes and I'm not I'm not uh, in, inferring that uh, anybody has said there are going to be changes but are there any particular changes and I'm not talking about personnel I'm just programmatically or policy wise that you are going to look at as you assume the office of mayor? I probably will look at everything because mm -hmm. things change in eight years, right. and I really don't know a, a lot about what's happened and what we need to do. Mm -hmm. But I'll be looking at a, a lot of things. So, more or less, everything's on the table right. for consideration, but there's no predetermined, right. no. hidden agenda. No, and if people want to come to me and say, "I think this is a good idea" or "That's mm -hmm. a good," I listen to their ideas. Mm -hmm. Maybe something I didn't even think about. Sure. So I will do that. What do you think are the major challenges facing the city? And, and, and obviously we've talked about that in terms of the water and sewer infrastructure needs. Other particular challenges that you see ahead? Well, I think one of the things that everybody will ask about, uh, can we get new jobs? Can we have people build here? Whatever. But I think the major problem, and you and I know about this, mm -hmm. and I think everybody else, is the roads. Mm -hmm. You know, the only transportation mode that factories have is tractor trailer trucks mm -hmm. now and if they don't have good roads they don't they don't want to trust us that we're going to get any mm -hmm. uh, I know that um, I spoke with Ron Mac McMahon the other day and he said the very first question that he has asked when companies look at p properties here mm -hmm. or moving here is how close are you to our interstate right and so we need to be thinking about I know Columbia's about 20 miles away but we need to think about getting our bypass. Mm -hmm. We need to get a four-lane roads. I don't know why when we built a, a 210 mm -hmm. that we didn't think about making it larger because, man, there's a lot of traffic on that. Mm -hmm. We followed. The other day, Ronnie and I were um, coming back from E-Town. There was 10 cars in front of us, mm -hmm. 10 cars behind us from Hodgenville to Campbellsville. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was no passing because we had so many people meeting so many. Right. 
So the traffic is really, really bad on it's the road. It's not uh, much different on 55. No, it I isn't. I was recently on, from between here and Lebanon, Right. Uh, recently one evening, late afternoon, early evening, and it was the same way. Right, and it's the same mm -hmm. way in the mornings because right. these it are is. the people going to work in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. So So we need to, I, what I hear you're saying is continue the progress on the Heartland Parkway right. and, the and, and the bypass. And the bypass, yes. And then uh, obvious, obviously work on 210 improvements as well. Right, yes. And those are obviously the two major uh, uh, thoroughfares or, or right. connecting roads that right. of a regional importance. And those are regional projects. They are. Know. They're regional That's projects. That's not something we can do on right. our own here That's in true. Campbellsville. Mm -hmm. That's true. That requires the cooperation of Marion County and LaRue County and so on. Well, when we spoke before years ago mm -hmm. about the bypass and how important that is, uh, and even looking at Columbia and their mm -hmm. bypass, we need to be thinking about working on this as much as we can, as fast as we can. Because if you think about almost every car has to go through the intersection of 55, mm -hmm. 68, 210, mm -hmm. and there's just so much traffic there. So we need to work on that. Well, the Columbia bypass and Lebanon bypasses were, were great, were important right, to us. Right, absolutely. And, and you will hear people in Columbia and Lebanon both talking about the importance of the new bypass in Campbellsville right. because they need the, the their traffic needs to move right. quicker and easier as well. Right, and they do. So I think one of the most important things we can do is look mm -hmm. at the bypass and get it started and finished and and improve all the roads coming in mm -hmm. and out of Campbellsville. And don't you think, Mayor, that the downtown area is better prepared to compete? Uh, you know, some would say, I even had years ago when we first started working on the bypass and the parkway and that a uh, local person said, well, why do you want to divert the traffic from downtown? And it'll kill downtown. But downtowns actually have to become competitive too. Right. And ours is, I think. I think so too. Mm -hmm. It's very, I mean, I'm very excited about mm -hmm. the fact that I think there may be one empty store on, mm -hmm. Campbell, on mm -hmm. Main Street and you're seeing different people move in and I love it. I think mm -hmm. it's great uh, uh, to see people downtown. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of restaurants. I'd like for us to see a, a couple more. I'll be really excited when we get a couple of the buildings that mm -hmm. have been, that we're working on finished. So yeah, I'm very excited about it. Economic development is more than uh, industry. Oh yes, it's, it is. If you don't have a place for people to go like shop for lack of a better word, mm -hmm. uh, people don't come. You know, right. they want to come and see what they what's available. Mm -hmm. And I love that. I think, don't you think one of the major positive things about Campbellsville and this whole part of Kentucky is quality of life? Oh, yes, yes. I wouldn't want to live any place mm -hmm. else. I really wouldn't. And cost of living is, is, is reasonable, competitive mm -hmm. compared to the rest of the country. Yeah, it is. I think mm -hmm. we have a great place to live. Uh, major opportunities, and, and we've touched on those too, but uh, there's always challenges, there's always opportunities. What are some maybe opportunities that you see that will come down uh, to uh, be available over the next four years for Campbellsville, Taylor County? Well, I hope there's, uh, of course, getting the roads fixed mm -hmm. would be the first thing. Right. And I hope that we have, in fact, I think we have a couple people looking now at mm -hmm. businesses, and it not all, we don't think about current businesses enlarging, like Frost Arnett. Right. We just had an um, announcement that they're going to move to a larger facility. Mm -hmm. And I think they were gonna hire 135 new people. Yeah. And you think, wow, that's that's mm -hmm. awesome. So jobs is a big thing. You mm -hmm. know, people wanna stay at home and work. Right. They don't wanna go someplace else. Right. One, one of the issues that we face and, and uh, it's not unique to just Campbellsville, it's to Kentucky as well as the country as a whole. And that's the labor participation rate. The fact that the number of eligible, the percentage of eligible people in the working age population is down. Right. The, the, the number that are willing to work. Right. What can we do to address that issue? And that, we can't solve that issue just in Campbellsville. But that, that's a major issue. Oh, it is a major. Finding enough workers right. to fill the jobs that uh, are available. Well, you think about uh, Amazon, even the, some of the people in Lebanon, that, mm -hmm. some of the companies in Lebanon, people will come in, they'll work one day, and they don't want to come back and work. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what the answer is to that. I, I wish I, I did, because in 
we always felt like we needed to earn the money so that mm -hmm. we could have a, a home and a car and an education for our children. Mm -hmm. But I, that's not the priority. I, I was in a meeting, if I may uh, share this, recently with some business people and, and they shared a factual story that there were eight people hired at an equivalency counting benefits of $18 an hour. Mm -hmm. By the end of the first day, four of them were gone. Mm -hmm. they, they just walked out. I know, it's like the, they don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. I, I mm -hmm. don't, I've never. And, that, and, and Kentucky is 49th in the nation, 49th. And, and, and our rate is better than much of the state, but it's still our local business people and industrial people and the entire community will tell you, getting people to work and stay uh, is is uh, a real a real challenge. Yes, it is. And, I and mean, so uh, we've got to work on that. Right. And I, I'm kind of like you. I don't know all the answers. I mean, part of it's training and education, right. higher wages, better working conditions, and so on. Now, uh, obviously, in your for prior two terms, you worked a lot with state and federal officials uh, as you. Uh, become our mayor in January, and I might add we're, we're doing this right before Christmas, this right. particular interview, so you're not mayor as yet officially. Right. But what will you be looking to the state government and the federal governments for? And, and what will you be saying to uh, the governor and the candidates for governor and our senators and congressmen? Well, you know, I don't mind asking. And um, when I, the last, when I was mayor before, in the last, in those eight years, I was able to receive $22 million mm -hmm. in grant funds. And mm -hmm. I mean, I ask everybody, because my philosophy is if you don't ask, you don't get. And if they, there's a 50-50 chance they might say yes. Mm -hmm. So we had a lot of grant money. I don't think it's as readily available as it was at that time, mm -hmm. but what is, what we have that is available, I, I want to ask for it. I want mm -hmm. to, us to uh, prosper as much as we can with getting grant money from mm -hmm. state and federal government. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't mind asking at all. So. Uh, my, my observation is that you're not bashful in that regard. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not uh, at all. Will, will you be talking to the candidates, all the can major candidates for governor, for example? I mean, 2019 is a uh, there's a race in Kentucky every year yes, just about for right, something. Right. But this is our gu gubernatorial campaign. Doesn't mm -hmm. seem possible. I know it does 2019. And uh, come the end of January 2019, in about five weeks from this interview, we'll know who those mm -hmm. candidates are. Will Mayor Allen of Campbellsville be in contact with all those candidates? Absolutely. A and any state or federal people, I always say, I call them, I don't mind at all, what can they do, but say no. And you know, we have to get to know some people. And when before when I was the mayor, and I got to know the governor, all of the governors mm -hmm. well, and I didn't mind asking. And there was many times that I, they said no, and then there was many times that they said yes. Mm -hmm. So no, I'll ask, I will. Even, even if they don't have money, and as you said, uh, there still is grant money, it's right. probably your observation's not as prevalent right. as it was right. uh, during your first two terms, but there's still money out there. Uh, but, but sometimes it's, it's, it's policies too, isn't it? Yes. I mean, it's the way they handle uh, regulatory matters. It's how they regulate your wastewater and, right. and, and, and water treatment. Right. facilities and some of that's they they is federally mandated right but I would assume those kinds of things are going to be important too as you talk to these folks oh yes absolutely and I've, I've have I have a lot of learning to mm -hmm. do because things have changed so right. much in the water treatment and the sewer and mm -hmm. as I said before our facilities are old and they mm -hmm. really need repair and there's a lot of, of regulations that have changed that mm -hmm. I'm not aware of. Mm -hmm. So really, I'm. Uh, it'll be an education for me. Mm -hmm. It really will be. What uh, it, when you talk to people and as you go into the mayor's office, what what will you want from the general public? I mean, it, it just in terms of uh, when people come to you, uh, obviously you're going to listen, but you obviously you yourself can't solve all the problems. No. But I, mean, I do I, I, listen. 
I, I know you're going to work hard at it. Yes. But what what will you say back to the the, the citizens of Campbellsville in terms of challenge the challenge uh, uh, that's at hand for the community? Well, I do listen, and I always am honest. If I can help them, I will. Mm -hmm. If I can't, I'll tell them. But I'll also try to find someone that can help them. Mm -hmm. But there's all you just can't do everything. Right. But learning is going to be a big thing for me, learning mm -hmm. what I can and can't do and what's out there, because it's different. It's, right. it's totally different. But we do have, um, I think there's a lot of um, people on the city council that are mm -hmm. going to be great resources. You have how many new council members? Five. Five, five coming mm -hmm. in. Yes. That, that, that's a good number out of yes. 12. That's nearly half. Yes, The council is. will be new new mm -hmm. faces. Right. New people. And I'm, uh, you know, I'm excited to get to know the council. Mm -hmm. and. I want them to go any time that we have an opportunity to learn something from mm -hmm. the Kentucky League of Cities or from Lake Cumberland Ad or from any of the organizations. I want them. I want them to be part of it. I want mm -hmm. them to learn. I don't want them just to come on first Monday of every week of uh, every month mm -hmm. and meet. I want them to get involved and find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about that. Uh, you, you are a positive person. You're you're an enthusiastic person. Uh, that that is evident from your first two terms as mayor and just people that know you. Uh, what What's the message you'll sell uh, when you're out and about, whether you're talking to the governor, you're talking to a prospective industry, you're talking to a prospective restaurant owner? Uh, give me the sales pitch for Campbellsville, <laughs> Taylor County. Well, first of all, I think Campbellsville is one of the most wonderful places in the world. Mm -hmm. Of course, I have never lived any place else. But what makes it such a good place is the people. Mm. You know, I have just been so overwhelmed with the people and their support and their compliments and their hugs and they're just so happy for me. I, mm -hmm. I've just, and people are in Campbellsville, I think they're different. I think they have different attitudes, which is good. Mm -hmm. I think we're all good. And But whatever I can do, I'll do it. Right. And, and if I can, I'll tell them. Like I said, I, you can't promise things that you can't deliver. Mm -hmm. But I really am happy that, uh, and I'll work with them, mm -hmm. whatever the situation. Would you encourage volunteerism? Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. There's Some, plenty of places, aren't oh, there, in, in community oh, yes. to, to do volunteer work. Oh, yes, yes. That's a part of what makes Campbellsville successful. It is. It's not just the, the people that are paid to do things. But, right. But that core group of people that are rolling up their sleeves and, and helping in the mall parks and, mm -hmm. and different functions. Well, like we were talking about the pool, I already have about four people who have said, I'll help you any way I can. Uh, just let me know what I need to do. Mm -hmm. I'll be out there. And that's really, you don't always hear that in big cities, but in Campbellsville, we're, we're, we're ready to work together. Mm -hmm. And I think that's so important. What about regionalism? Oh, I'm. Are, are you are you willing to work with the people in the other counties? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Now, some might say, "Well, we can't we can't work with Lebanon, or we can't yeah. work with Columbia, or we yeah. can't work with Greensburg." What say you to them? Well, uh, Greensburg has a new mayor. Mm -hmm. Columbia has a new mayor and a new county judge. Mm -hmm. And I met the county judge. I happened to know her. The mm -hmm. and we were at a meeting local. Uh, uh, the judge, the new county judge for us, us, Mary Smith, he and I went to Frankfurt to a meeting, mm -hmm. local government. It was really good, and we met a lot of the new people. Mm -hmm. Let's see, um, Greensburg has a new mayor. Columbia has both. Mm -hmm. We have both. Two ladies. Yes, two, two ladies. Yes, uh, and that's Columbia. And that's awesome. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, everybody is was excited, and mm -hmm. they want to work together. Will Will city and county government have good relations of these four years? Oh yes, yes. As I said. Mm -hmm. uh, Mayor Barry Smith, who's the new judge executive, mm -hmm. he and I went to a meeting in Frankfurt in, uh, the other day, and then we went to Governor's Mansion mm -hmm. and to another meeting. So, And I was really proud of him and proud that he asked me to go with him because, mm -hmm. you know, that's really nice. It, we had a nice visit. It, it's important to show that united front, right. isn't it? It is, when absolutely. When you're in Frankfurt or Washington right. or wherever. It doesn't matter where um, you're at. Mm -hmm. We need to be As well together. as locally. Yes. But... Mm -hmm. but uh, for state government, federal government get a little nervous when your local city and county governments are not right. working together well. Right. If, well, if, I think that we're we're there for the same purpose, mm -hmm. and the city is in the county. Right. I know we talk about that a lot. A lot we used to say, people forget that. 
but I think we're going to be well. I think we're going to do good. I think mm -hmm. everything's going to be good for us. Campbellsville has uh, other assets, our education, oh. health care. Oh, yeah. We have a low crime rate. Mm -hmm. We have a great university. Don't tell anybody, though. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have three great school mm -hmm. systems, hospital. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of doctors that if they don't live here, they practice here. So we're very fortunate in my Regional opinion. Regional hub in many, yeah, many ways. Yeah, low crime rate. Mm -hmm. So I think that we have a lot to offer. Yeah, that, that micropolitan status, that, that being that core area, right. uh, uh, we're not large, but we're not tiny and right. small right. E e e either. Right. And, and we draw people from a region. And we do, if you don't believe it, you go out to Walmart mm -hmm. and you see all the different license plates mm -hmm. of people who have come here to shop. Right. And even though we do have people uh, going to Lebanon or elsewhere right. to work, right. we have more coming in, right. uh, substantially more coming in right. than, than, than are going out. Now, we're down to less than a minute. Okay. And I wanted just to give you the opportunity to look in the camera okay. and speak to the people to say whatever you feel you'd like to say to them uh, as you get ready to take over as mayor of Campbellsville. Okay. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for trusting me and giving me this opportunity. And as I had said before, I'm here to work with the people. Um, and if I can help you, I will. Uh, if I can't, I'll tell you and I'll try to find somebody that can help you. And I just want to work together with everybody. I, I mean, we, if you don't have a team, if you're not a team player, you don't get anything done. But together we can get anything done. So I'm just really thankful and I want to thank everybody for voting for me and for being there to help me. And if you want to do something, come see me. I'll listen to you. Brenda Allen, Mayor-Elect of City of Campbellsville, we wish you the very best thank and you. Godspeed. You're thank in our you. prayers and thoughts. Please, thank and you. And we'll do this interview again. This is John Chowning with Mayor-Elect Brenda Allen, thanking our audience for being with us for dialogue on public issues. Thank you. Thank you.